hello friends welcome to my youtube channel i am sonu kumar pandit i hope you are doing well so guys today i am going to discuss one of java project this is my training period project this is my first project in my company so guys to many friend asking to me what are you doing in company which types of project you are developing in company where we can use that project so i thought i should share with us this project so this is this project my project name is employee management application where we can say employee management system system there is many features inside employee management system and today i will discuss about employee management system fully this session only discuss about employee management system so what is my project so i am going to discuss about our project it was first project of my company without any let we direct come on point first of all we will discuss on the our task of about project what is feature what is working where we can implement of this project how many features how many technology required for developing this project so guys direct common point my task is the create web create website for employee management at least delete this is my task but there is some features inside so first there is environment what is environment means environments which types of environment we have to prefer so first apache tomcat web servers we have to use apache tomcat web servers so why use i will see in, inside jsp solid in java we have to use jsp solid not just only we have to use jsp solid and jdbc also we have to use without jdbc we can't in, insert in data in databases and after my sql databases here my sql databases ya yeah, rd images ya yeah, any rd rehensional database management system means databases we, we can use any databases my sql oracle mongodb my sql servers any database we can use for store our data inside databases and last we can see here eclipse editors means eclipse editor preferred means there is only prefer eclipse editor we can prefer any other visual studio sts and so edit plus and there is so many features we have to de develop our application but here the only recommend is eclipse editors and further we are going to what is important notice here we can see important notice what is important notice inside this project create a dynamic web project using jsp solid create a dynamic web project this project we have to create only dynamic dynamic project web applications and using jsp solid so we have to use jsp solid and jdbc database connection and jdbc we have to use only for z database connections like like connection statements result set like connection connection statements result set any other like hibernate spring should be not used here my here our task is saying don't use any frameworks means hibernate a spring a spring boot we have to use only advanced java means jdbc servlet and jsp and further what is task one there is my task one which types of task means we can see first we change our color when this is my task is task one this is my task one create employee web pages jsp or html insert in data employee table first of all we have to create employee means employee databases database and for inserting our data a structure of employee table there is my employee table this is some features of my employee table there is data types so which types of data we have to use inside the table so first column name what is column name employee id we have to take employee id name addresses genders salaries date of birth and here data which types of data types we have to use inside this projects the here employee id must be int and name must be a string a worker address a strings a workers genders int here genders only we have to use int and salary numeric salary we can use birth date birth we have to take in data by type set date employee id should be primary key not null this is all is not null 
and database data types variables based on database likes in inside databases we have to create one table and inside databases we have to prefer some data types and some instructions pig layout in validations for the employee pages there is if we will create front end page there is some validations is required for the safety process means if you want to pass our mobile numbers then only mobile number allow not name allow inside the text area of mobile numbers that is validations means validations means if you want to insert only numeric value so don't allow any string type name that is validations and there is which types of validation is there input types first you can see here input level name text box a string required required means validation is name should be text and data type a string validation so must be required means without name we can't move in other pages a date of birth is also required address address inside text area data types a string and maximum character 150 and gender one males genders we have to take genders first male second female buttons radio buttons byte data types byte required this is also required salary we have to inside right inside text box doubles and only numbers allow inside salary only numbers allow in double not allow any others a string type data types and the second first we have to which types of operation we have to do inside this project create employee list pages in so all employee from tables also and data actions to delete this employee and the second is optional task pig navigations so before deleting employee please so confirm message means if you are deleting any record any record so once time so we have to there is should be so in only confirmation if you want to delete are you agree or not agree must be so on the pages and this third task task is also same as second so delete selection employee from the employee list based on employee id means our data should be de delete according to based on our employee id using employee id we have to delete our data of the records so guys directly we i am going on our s applications in edit plus not sorry not edit for eclipse id i am going on our application eclipse so my project is a employee management this is my first project employee management system employee inside management is how many classes is required the how many classes you can see here so only there is i taken some three package in first employee dio dao employee employee cell sellets and our inside some jsp pages inside src folders first we will run our project first we will say our employee data means so which types of data i taken inside this project there we can see here how many data inside this there you can see here employee id employee name address gender salary birth all should be protected and inside employee dao what is employee dao there is in employee dao there is query lot of query you can see here lot of query and the connection this is my my sql connection this is my password username password he say this is my query without query we can't insert data we can't fetch data inside solid in database so there is all a query means you can see here insert queries here select queries here delete queries here update query this is query means this this types of operation we have to perform inside this applications so this is you you see here employee dao class employee solid what is inside solids which types of data we, i written inside solid you can see here so means this types of operation we have to do in there get parameter set my parameters then according to insert value there is a lot of method insert value update users update value purpose delete users this is solid program next i am going on user form what is user form this is my user form so this is my html css javascript and also bootstrap for 
well designed application we can use bootstrap code and also user list dot jsp code my jsp user list dot jsp code there is a lot of css html css javascript code and bootstrap using for well design bootstrap i also used in this applications so guys without any let i am going on around this application and after we will see what is work which types of work we have to perform inside this application we can perform inside this application so first of all i run on this project i am going to run and run on servers because our solid program direct run on servers in here i am using tomcat 9 version and next i am finish finish my program here is running here you can see here lot of employee data means first of all i have to register add new employee first of all we have to add new employee employee name is the we have to any employee employee name is suppose my employee name is m i t h l e s s mikles k u m a r mikles my employee name is mikles kumar this is a new employee and address what is address you can use hyderabad address is hyderabad male or female we have we can use mail employee salary how much suppose 12500 and what is date of birth employee date of birth we can select any date of according to our choice according to our and after of fill all process means to fill all every lines every text area then after submit this form if you submit you can see here what is mithilesh kumar my data inserted in the database and we can also see this is my record employee id voted here employee id is auto generated i did not enter you already seen i did not enter any employee id because employee id is hidden it is auto generated i am taking auto generated employee id it will increase automatically according to our employee registration and here you can see my i entered the name is Mithilesh Kumar location Hyderabad gender you can see here gender one two means one means male here second means female so gender one means male because in my task you can see here gender you can see here gender int means my data types is in inside my task so there is showing there is showing one because one means male my salary my salary is here salary of Mithilesh Kumar is the 12500 and date of birth is there and edit if you want to edit of this project then you can edit click on edit suppose suppose here there is any wrongs mean mithilesh kumar but my name is some here mithilesh name is some wrong means there is not mithilesh kumar if you want to eject mithilesh pande then what will happen what we have to do inside further so direct we will go here edit means after any fault I will get then I will go on edit and I will delete here and I will add a pan DAY Mikles Pande and after all is correct if you want to change anything then we can change otherwise if you only one wrong then I will save here after save you can see here Mikles Pande first there was first name was the Mikles Kumar but after changing you can see here Mikles Pande all is correct there is a my add employee if you want to employ more than employee means there you can see here my add employee here first of all see here add employee one there is one menu bar showing add employee click on add employee if you want to add more than employee then you can add i here i am adding one girls employee means see here gita gita k e m a r i kumari address line 3 address here is delhi Delhi, you can write to Pune because Delhi address I have employee salary. How much salary? 22,000. So here only there is some limit, only five characters is allowed. Only five characters more than not allowed. So I am this you can show here. I am trying to enter more than but not allowed because here is some validation. I set it some validation. You can also see i already told inside our project in the first times hmm? there is some validations in my company if i there is salary but if i want to insert any string value means here you can see here name 
this is my salary area text area means salary area but if you want to insert some name then i will uh, here choose date of birth but here you can see here i inserted i put it wrong but i will submit here after submitting what here message showing what a you please match the required format means there is some validation so this is not my salary format my salary format is in letter characters anything letters means number it should be my salary should be number int a doubles then after i added all i will save if i will say you can see here this is gita address pune here gender gender means two means females salary 22 thousands here date of birth is you can see here and if you want to edit then you can edit here otherwise if you don't want to edit then save if I if you want to delete suppose if this is my first 43 employee ID 43 name is Rajkumar address is Delhi gender so first means male salary is date of birth if you want to delete there is I have a two features I already told inside this task I have a two delete features means this is a normal delete. this is normal delete means if I will click on delete that record should be delete then i click at that record deleted but i want to delete according to some confirmations means javascript confirmation then i will click here my second is 44 employee number 44 nam puja address patna then i want to delete of this records then i will click i will delete with confirmation i will click delete in confirmation after clicking you can show here you can see here are you sure means if you want to delete then click on delete button if you don't want to delete then click on cancel i delete on cancel i my record not deleted but i want to delete confirms click on delete and if are you sure do you really want to delete this record process cannot be understood if you want to delete then click on delete if you click delete then my record deleted i have only three remaining three records so guys i thought you understood carefully so i hope you understand it i would like to tell i already uploaded one real time java project on our channel if you want to see that project real time that is real time project so if you want to see that project that links in inside the description if you can go inside description and click on that links and then subscribe my channel like my channel and visit that my channels and so see all video thank you meet you next